How's it going guys? So one of the necessary evils of 3D printing is printing with supports and it's something that's very helpful, very beneficial for the quality of prints, but it's something that's also kind of a pain to remove a lot of the time. So this is a little propeller that I printed for uh, my drone and I needed to print it with supports. Now there are a lot of ways that you can remove the supports and uh, I guess depending on the material that you use, it some materials are easier to remove than others. Um, and depending on the quality of your printer, it can also make it harder or easier to remove. So there are a few tools that you can use for this. Uh, I think that at least for a flat surface like this, the other side is flat, uh, one of the easiest ways to do it is just with a razor blade. And you can use either just a plain razor blade or you can use one of these little knives that um, you know just make it easier to hold and a little bit safer of course just be careful when you're doing this because it's easy to slip and cut yourself um, and when I first heard of this trick I thought it was stupid and um, I mean I'm, I was just like you can't cut through solid plastic with a knife you know <laughs> so uh, but it actually does help if it's a flat surface I already started on this side you can see um, and it, it kind of just helps if you run it along there. You can see right here, it's still attached pretty well. This is with PETG filament. So what you do is, and once again, just be really careful when you're doing this. You, you don't want to slip and cut yourself. You just stick it in between the surface of the print and the supports, and you just kind of slice it. And you can do it a few times. Be very careful. And you can see that helped to cut it off very cleanly. Um, otherwise, if you just do it with your finger, sometimes it leaves little, uh, I guess, just these ridges on it, and that's hard to clean off. Now, if um, another way to take off, to remove supports for 3D prints is if you just use some of these cuticle nippers, which I got on Amazon for five bucks. Um, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them anywhere. It's uh, something that a lot of people use for like, I don't know, salons and stuff. But I really like these for cleaning off 3D prints. It, it helps to make it look really nice and, and clean. So you can use that if, it's, uh, if it leaves something behind. So you can see, as I said, I already peeled this one off. Let's try and just leave a little bit of, there you can see there's a little bit of stuff there. You can just pick that off with your hand, with your fingers, or you can use this to clip it off if you wanna be really precise with your cuts. Um, makes it really nice and easy and you can be very accurate with this too. So, uh, and this is especially a good way to do it if you have a, if you have supports on a surface that is not flat, because a lot of the time when you print, uh, for example, um, just like, I don't know, I guess, uh, models of things or buildings, um, you're going to have the supports holding up ledges and, uh, parts of a face and you just want to clean it off really cleanly. So you'll want to use something like this, like these cuticle nippers, and it just really helps uh, to pick at it a little piece at a time. Or you can use tweezers as well if there are just some strings. Um, one other thing I like to do is if there are a lot of just kind of strings on something, um, I'll just use this as an example. This is a battery holder that's very stringy, just something that I found online and I altered the design a little bit myself. So I have this little torch. Um, another thing you'll want to be really careful with but you basically after you clean it up a little bit with with your cuticle nippers and your tweezers you can just use a torch and it burns up these strings really nicely makes it look really nice and clean and then uh, that's of course if you got a lot of stringing and you already picked it off picked off the pieces you can the best you can and then you just go in here and you finish clipping off what kind of uh, balled up on there you know the extra strings and whatever so anyway that's uh my take on the on removing supports if you have a printer that only has one nozzle of course there are some printers that have dual nozzles and you can buy uh, other filament i don't remember what it's called but it's different filament that you can use for supports that's water soluble and that's really nice um anyway so that's what i do uh, let me know in the comments if you guys think there are any other different, better ways. I'd like to learn myself as well, but this is what I like to do, and I do a lot of 3D printing for business and for personal use. So 
Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a thumbs up if this video helped you at all or if you liked it. And uh, hit the subscribe button because I do a lot of videos about 3D printing. Um, I'm doing, right now I'm making them daily, but I'll probably be turning it back to about once a week or so pretty soon. So thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. And we will see you in the next one.